Hello and welcome back to the channel. This is Abhinav. So in this video, we are going to talk about the problem C of put forces on 772, which is differential sorting. Okay. So in this uh, problem, it is given the problem statement is, is quite clear that you have to make a given array a non-decreasing means in ascending order. Okay, the array such that you can do some pro operations only not more than n number of times times in which what you can do is that you can choose three indices in which y should be written z x y z okay so this is also a given that y is greater than x and z is written y you can replace ax with a y minus a z and this is a particular condition given that the number should not be written in 10 to the power 18 okay so in this problem first of all we have to observe we have to make some observation basically this problem is a observation based problem also so we have to make some observations okay and this is a, obviously a greedy problem so what we have to do is that uh, first of all the first one thing that if if we have an uh, if we have an array for example this is the array the indices are a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 so we can we can change this number by replacing it with the difference of some aj minus ak we can take jk from here but we cannot we have to observe one thing that we cannot change the last two numbers why why we can't change the last two numbers because we have to take x y z and the condition is that x is greater than y is greater than z if we take x is equal to 4 so we should take x y and z greater than 4 so if we take y is equal to 5 then what can be the value of z because there are only five elements z is not possible and same for this element also if we take x is equal to 5 then what should be the value of y we can't take the value of y and z so we cannot change the value of 4 and 5 this is the first thing means the last two elements of each other. we cannot change the value of that now one more thing we can just change the value of this to only one possible value we can replace the value of a3 with only one possible value which is a4 minus a5 why because when x is equal to 3 then only one condition is possible when y is equal to 4 and z is equal to 5 so when x we will take x is equal to n minus 3 now only two possible conditions are there y is equal to n minus 4 and z is equal to n minus 4. sorry not n minus 4 there was a y is equal to n minus 2 and z is equal to n minus 1 this is the only possible condition if we have to change this last third number so first of all we can't change the last two numbers so the last two numbers should already be in ascending order this is the first condition should already be in the ascending order okay now what we can do is if they are in ascending order okay then obviously the value then what, what we can we will do is then when we will replace the value of a3 with a4 minus a5 we are taking this array for this particular array we will replace the value of a3 as a4 minus a5 okay and if a4 is greater than a5 then a3 will always be less than a4 because a4 minus a5 should always be less than a4 this is the key okay this is basically you can say that it is a condition you can check it basically you can check it maybe equal also it will be basically equal to less than means it will be in the ascending order so if we take a3 or we can also check it also अगर हम लोग a3 को हम लोग ये ले रहे हैं, because ये एक possible है, तो क्या वो ascending order में है कि नहीं है? And if we make this last three numbers in ascending order, then we can easily make the whole array in ascending order or non-decreasing order. How? Let's check. Okay? Now what we'll do is, for example, these are some elements of the, and this is the last two elements. For example, this is the a n minus one, and this is a n. Okay? What we will in the first operation, and for example, let's consider that this is in ascending order means a n is 
get it equal to an minus 1. We will make this equal to an minus 1 minus an. We can make it by taking one operation. We will make this value also equal to an minus 1 minus an. This value also because in the non decreasing order values can be equal. It is not compulsory that the value should be written. The values can be equal that these all values are equal to each other. So we will simply take all the integers from z 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and we will in one operation we will do 1 n minus 1 and n, 2 n minus 1 and up to n minus basically n minus 2 n minus 1 and n means that this in that. So we will in case difference hoga, usko baki sum may implement kar denge. Aur wo uska difference hamesha se chota hoga. To wo yahan aa jayenge aur ye non decreasing order mein ho jayenge. I hope aapko samajh mein aa gaya hoga. I hope. So let's move towards the code part to understand it more clearly. What I have done in code. So basically in code part there is some unwanted code also because at the time of contest I have just written a code so that for for a safe side I have put some not necessary conditions so we will discuss about that also and obviously if the particular array is also in is is already in ascending order then we don't have to do anything if the last two elements are not in ascending order then we will put minus one because if they are already not we cannot change them this is not uh, basically this is unnecessary condition i have put at the time for a safe side कि वो जो एक कंडीशन थी ये वाली मैंने उसको बेसिकली कंसीडर किया कि पॉसिबल ही नहीं होगा कभी मैंने उसे लिख दिया था नाउ वी विल टेक द लास्ट थर्ड वैल्यू एज द डिफरेंस ऑफ द लास्ट टू वैल्यूज नाउ आई विल चेक दैट दैट वैल्यू शुड बी लेस देन मींस द कंडीशन ऑफ अ डिसेंडिंग और नॉन डिक्रीजिंग और असेंडिंग एरे नाउ इफ इट इज इफ इट इज नॉट For example, possibly not last two values is equal to. वो ascending order नहीं बन रहा है. Then minus one. अगर बन रहा है, then we will simply for all the indices from zero to n minus two, we will take i plus one means that index n minus one n that we have discussed in our whiteboard also. This is a good question. This is was a good. This was a good problem and uh, observation based problem actually. And I think that this contest was an easy one, means the starting three concept. It was not easy. It was basically concept based. So if you are thinking, if you are observing, then you will get to understand it. Okay. Now, if you have any doubt, you can comment it down or you can join join our Telegram to ask your doubt. Okay. You can join our Telegram. Our Telegram is very popular. Many people are there. Because my previous Telegram was closed, it was closed. You will know about it. What is it? 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 नया ग्रुप है जो लोग नहीं ज्वाइन है ज्वाइन कर लो और यू कैन सब्सक्राइब टू माय चैनल यहाँ पर आपको कोर्ट्स है वो कोर्ट फोर्सेस के सारे सॉल्यूशन मिलते रहेंगे ऑल्सो यू कैन फॉलो मी ऑन लिंक अभी मैंने पोस्ट डाला है क्योंकि मेरी रेटिंग अभी सिक्स पॉइंट से रह गया एक्सपर्ट होने से मैं एक्सपर्ट होने वाला था बट मैं सिक्स पॉइंट से रह गया तो देखते हैं कब होते हैं एंड ऑब्वियसली यू कैन ऑल्सो फॉलो मी ऑन इंस्टाग्राम तो इंस्टाग्राम में फॉलो करने के लिए इसलिए बोलते हैं बिकॉज आई वॉज थिंकिंग इंस्टाग्राम पे कभी कभी लाइव कर लें या कुछ ऐसा कर लिया करें कभी कभी इंटरेक्ट करने के लिए अपने सब्सक्राइबर से बिकॉज यूट्यूब लाइव हर समय पॉसिबल नहीं होती है आपको लैपटॉप से टप करना पड़ता है बस इंस्टा लाइव जो होती है बहुत ही ईजिली हो जाती है दैट वॉज द पॉइंट थैंक वॉचिंग वॉचिंग सेव थैंक यू